Hey there, YouTube. This is just a live stream VOD uh, from a Twitch stream I did where I played City Skylines for about a few hours. Made the lives of my citizens maybe as bad as they could be generally. But if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this live stream VOD, how about tossing to subscribe to this channel and maybe tossing to follow to the Twitch, uh, the Twitch channel too if you want to see any of this live. And if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, without further ado, here's City Skylines. All right, we're going to be doing City Skylines today. A nice two to three hour little session of what I would say bar for bar for me is my favorite city building game. Honestly, period. I don't, you know, I don't know why I'm going on this whole spiel as if I've played any others. This is the only one I've played. <laughs> so we're going to be doing City Skylines. Um, I have no overarching grand plan, grand design. I'm not, I'm not a, a mind flayer from Baldur's Gate. I'm not part of the grand design. I'm just here the fuck around randomly choose and ball out on a location and uh and do my best here oh okay so my mouse double clicked so apparently this is what we're gonna go with i was actually gonna sit here and and take my time and, and you know observe all my options but apparently my mouse decided for me it double clicked off rip i just wish for dick street <laughs> you want a street to be named dick street you want a street to be named Dick Street, huh? Okay. Okay. Now, I got to remember how to play this game. I also need to move my camera. So, I'm going to go... Oh, where's a good spot? Where's a good spot? I mean, I think this is okay. I think me existing right here is just fine. You're just floating in the corner a little bit. Just floating. Just floating. I may be a little big. Make my... I'll be a little bit smaller. Okay, so... Let me actually take a gander at the map. And it's so loud for you. I apologize. I lowered that. But let me take a gander at the map. Now, I don't know how I feel necessarily about the spot that the game decided to put me in. And by the game, I mean my mouse double clicking. Let, let's, let, let's be clear. The game didn't do anything. My mouse did. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I like the spot. I don't really like our water situation. Um, mainly because there's a bridge going over it. I'll talk about the water in a little bit. First, I need to get the city started. So if you've never played City Skylines, um, you have to have an, an entrance and an exit that are all connected. Now, there are some meta things I'll be doing. A little bit. Just a little bit of meta. meta. For one, place down one road and then immediately refund it for the money back. Now, what this has done has unlocked everything else because this game's a little cringe. I don't know if it's a setting. I just don't know how to turn off or what. But for whatever reason, whenever you start this game, you have to place down at least one road for them to let you decide to do anything else first. Like for me, for example, I like to do my water first. So back to what I was saying about the water. You can see we've got current here. And it's all flowing this direction. So I want to put my pump upstream and then uh, see this is why i don't like our location because i'm going to be pumping literal poop water straight diarrhea infested horrible just terrible water right underneath a bridge so people are going to drive into the city across this beautiful bridge this beautiful scenery and if they just take a gander to the right they're going to see our city massively dumping poop infested terrible water into the ocean and just letting it go downstream this is a bad look for the city but it's a look we have to deal with because <laughs> an inland water treatment plant is too fucking expensive you understand me? it is too expensive actually now that i look at it it's the same price across the board oh but an eco-friendly one is like <laughs> Okay, first decision being made. Do I dump the poop water right next to the bridge? Or do I spend the premium, the extra money to do an eco-friendly inland uh, uh, water treatment plant? What's the decision here? And you know what? If anybody's an expert on this, it's going to be the man whose name is Water. Water, do I dump shit straight into the river? right next to the bridge or do i spend the premium what's the choice here what do you think is the right move 
in the meantime, I'm gonna actually not pipe up. Do we have good wind? We do have good wind, but I want to make this... I want to make this rich people place. You know what I mean? Your, your waterfront property. I don't want to exactly just dump windmills all over that. Um... Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna go with the inland water treatment. I actually don't like the idea of just dropping shit water right next to the bridge where people are coming into town. And they're coming in on that side. They are coming into the city, taking a glance over this beautiful scenery, and we would just be dumping poop water into the natural river right here. Just butchering this place. We live in too beautiful of a place. For me to just be dumping poop water in it like that. Okay. So, here's one thing that I'm undecided on. I do want to do a large road. I want to do a six laner going in and out of the city. Problem is, I don't have one ways yet. Do not have one ways. I do not have one ways. Okay, so maybe I'll do a separate entrance into the city at some other time. Ideally, I want my entrance to be done well right away. But let's also get rid of this big rock. Nobody cares about having a massive rock just in the center of their town. It's not that cool. You might think, oh, oh, it's a huge rock. It'll be like a tourist attraction. No, let me tell you. People in this game, they don't care about big rocks, okay? Let the shit run into the water supply. Oh, nah. You want me to feed my own citizens their, their shit, their own poop. That's what you just suggested? All right. Let me have big road. Okay. Actually, big road further this way into big curve, right? Now, at the end of this big curve, what we're going to do, drag something like this. I really wish I could do one ways right now. I really wish I could do one ways, but I guess I'll situate the one ways later and then i will again crazy curve boom okay so now the entrance and the exit from the city are connected what i will do is if you just want to leave the city and you don't want to do this big ass roundabout i will also go ahead and give you a few options okay i don't want you to be locked into this city i want you to have options places to go Hey, Daddy. You love when people play this and make the most purposefully god-awful designs? We'll see. I don't know what kind of vibe I'm feeling for my city today. I didn't even know what piece of land to choose, but when I was choosing my land, my mouse double-clicked and just chose this place for me. So honestly, I'll say it. I'm letting God handle this city. All I'm doing is letting the inspiration come to me and letting it flow out. Now... I don't want to build too big of a place off rip yet. Um, what I would like to do is build a little offshoot. Yeah, you know what? A little offshoot right here. They're going to tuck into the corner. Tuck into the corner. And this is where I'm going to dump all of my places. Or I guess all of my buildings that are just going to be polluting the fuck out of the land. So I've got the echo friendly inland water treatment. We do our water treatment right next to where uh, 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 we get our power. Now, you know, getting your power, or sorry, treating your water right next to a very filthy coal power plant might sound like a bad idea, but if they're, my citizen's water ends up fucked, I'm broke. Oh no. I've gone too big, too fast, too early. Oh no. I might have to reset off rip, bro. I might have to reset off rip. I went too big, too early, too fast. I have no money. This is salvageable. You know what? This is salvageable. Don't we have dirt roads? Come on. Oh, and there were one ways. Oh, I fucked this up so much. I'm going to try and salvage it. I'm going to try and salvage it. 
So here's a little not well-known maneuver. What you do is you buy dirt roads because they're hella cheap. And then you go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my poor people right next to where all of my pollution is. Now, you might be wondering, well, why are you doing that to the poor people? Well, they live on a dirt road and I need tax income now. So the health of their bodies is just not even anywhere close to as important as the health of our budget. I'll say it. I'll say it. Our budget is much more important. The health of that thing. <laughs> Let's start the city going a bit. Now, my water pump does not have power. So we don't have water right now. But if I get people moving in here and they start living right next to the coal power plant in the water treatment center, I know. Great, <laughs> great properties. You should invest now. Listen, you might not believe it, but this water treatment center and this coal power plant, it might seem like awful places to live. Might be a lot, a lot of pollution, a lot of noise. Going to be a little hard to sleep. Might, you might get sick. But what I would venture to say is what you're not thinking about is how iconic these buildings are going to be. These buildings are what enabled this absolute gem, gem, this, this golden diamond of, of the USA, the city itself, to thrive. Um, we are currently in the negative. We are running a deficit, but that's because I need taxpayer dollars now. I need you to start paying me money. And you know what? At this point, I need money so fast. I'm actually going to put people on the good street too and just de-zone de them later. This is... A <laughs> what I'm doing right now is I'm letting them build their homes, get one generation, maybe even two generations of kids through schooling out of these homes, and then I am going to demolish their buildings and rezone this whole place. Oh, poor, poor people. Poor people. As in they are poor, but also their circumstances are bad as well nobody's happy in the city yet that's it may be to be expected we still don't have running water but they're not complaining yet can i make gulags in this game probably with a mod <laughs> probably or what if i surround a prison in a road that goes nowhere i'm sure there's a way you could somehow do a gulag also how i'm sure there probably was a way that I could have avoided this absolute catastrophe I've just walked into. Um, but I hate to say it, boys. We got to reset. This city is not going to get off its feet. Let me... Maybe it does. Let me just speed it all the way up. Maybe somehow, some way, the taxpayers will pay me enough. But I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I can't get them running water because I don't have money. I've put all of my budgets as low as they'll go. And we're still running a def deficit. It's over. It's over. Wait, we do have running water? How? This has no power. How are you getting water with no power? Okay, well, maybe this is doable. Maybe. Maybe. The game's going as fast as it... Okay, now everybody realizes they don't have power. Or they don't have water, I mean. Fuck it. I'm putting the industry on my main road because I just need money right now. If this is salvageable, I'm going to try, but I, I don't think it is. My rate of losing money is going up. Yeah, it's over. I got to reset already. Maybe it needs a low budget nuclear power plant in the middle of a low income neighborhood. Oh, you just want me to give the kids radiation sickness. All right. I, this, the problem is because my mouse double clicked and gave me that map. I don't even, f I, I literally don't even know what map I chose. Um, can I try and find it? Coastal gem. Well, I know it was up here. I think it's murky coast. I think murky coast is the one that my mouse double click and shows for me. Uh -oh. How has everybody's time been? Last few days. Me personally. <sighs> been losing myself and wow <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because I'm terribly upset at that losing more and more time to wow every day okay I don't have dirt roads unlocked yet we're gonna do the same tech we learned the first time you'd buy one road and then immediately refund it that's how you lose the lowest amount of money to unlock everything else now I do also have one ways 
which I did not know that I had before. So what I'll do... Ooh. Do I even care about it being a one-way? I guess I do, because this is a one-way. You, you one way up here, and then you also... A little bit to the right. Okay, this is... I really got to come in at an angle here. One way like that. Okay. And then... And then... Take another big road. Is the median more expensive? No. So I'll have a medium. You connect these two in a big intersection. And then you do the big road I had planned before. Now might be saying you ran out of money the first time so why build the same big road and you're not wrong but i am going to save money because this time around i'm going to save the exit road for later now i do also love the idea of having my little pollution corner so we're going to make the little uh, pollution corner again you're going to offshoot off this road tuck into the corner like that and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Hmm. Um, give me my power. Put a coal power plant right here. Put inland water treatment center in the same place. And then I need to make sure I have water and everything set up and ready to go. Water, pipe it down to the treatment center and pipe this over here. To save money, I'm gonna buy dirt roads and put the poor people all down here so I can make money off of them immediately. Um, I don't care what they tell you in school. The success of your city is entirely bent on out of city limits, what? Okay, there we go. Power my pump, go to the dirt road and start making a place for poor people to live at. Uh, what I was saying is, I don't care what they tell you in school, all of your favorite big American cities have all been built off the backs of poor people. Now this is gonna, what, what we call poor road. Can I actually rename this road? I know I can rename roads at some point. I would like to name this dirt road, poor road, please. And you know what? They're going to live just close enough so that they eat some of the pollution. And by eat the pollution, I mean I'm getting them sick on purpose. Um, see, because if I make a healthcare problem and then I solve the healthcare problem, then I can run on that to get another term as mayor. You understand what I'm doing here? It's called running on a problem. So I made a problem for my people. That is the pollution sickness they're about to go through in like two, three years. Um, so that in two, three years from now, when there's another election cycle and I need to get reelected for mayor, I can just say, oh, I'll just give you health care. Everybody's going to be happy about it. Everybody's going to be so super, super happy that they're going to reelect me and then I can fuck their lives up even more. That's the plan. That's the plan. And you know what? Fuck it, dude. You want to live right next to the highway, right right next to a six-lane one-way road. You got it, pal. Hey, you can live right here. You can wake up in the morning and smell the absolute grease and gas of the highway right next to you, pal. You can do that just fine. And you know what? I'll even be a little bit nice. I'll give you just the smallest shitty little shops. Evans Road? Evans Road? Really? Evans Road. <laughs> Evans Road? Mmm. <laughs> what do I call it? The poor corner? The, the 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 depot of deficit because they're all in debt. Um What's a good what's a good I'm not this is not a priority road. Can I actually make it the least priority road we have? I don't want any snow snow plows or, or road construction to happen on this road. We're doing zero upkeep. Um What's a good name for it? What's a good name for it? Um. Hmm. Tribulation. <laughs> the Tribulation Trail. 
<laughs> the tribulation trail, dude. <laughs> the tribulation trail. It's a dirt road where all the poor people going through trials and tribulations live. Okay. I do need them to zone over here earlier. So I'm actually going to de-zone all of this to make sure we get power up and running. Um, one thing to know about this game, if you didn't know, is that the way your power connects is all based on where people build buildings, and then they all start to connect up power-wise. So since I have power running over here, I need them to build homes over here first so that they all connect without me having to spend extra money on cables. Okay, is my water ready to go? That is powered up. We are, for the most part, covered for water. There we go. All right, it's officially time to start it. Let's watch everybody move in. Can I see them drive into town? Hey, come on. We got some great property on Tribulation Trail. Some great pro pop property. Nobody lives there yet. It's actually very high demand. And I'll tell you, even higher supply. That's the crazy part about it. The demand to live here is so high and the supply is even higher. But like, you got to move in though. Oh, why would you move in over here first? Oh, this is going to cuck my zoning plans. You got to move in over here for power, dumbass. Hold on. Let's remove all this. Oh, you're building your house right there? I should dezone you just for being stupid. I should tell you to stop building that house right now. I'm a little tilted. Come on, build where I need you to build. Dude, they don't listen to their mayor. That's the crazy thing. That's what they don't tell you about starting a city. A lot of people are not going to listen to the mayor, even though the mayor knows what the fuck he's talking about. I need you to zone over here, please. You have no power because you built a house over there instead of over where I need it to be built. I zoned it appropriately and you chose the dumb spot. So you're getting power late. I'm sorry for the first like two and a half weeks of living in your newly built house. You're not going to have power. That's your fault. That's your fucking fault, pal. Ugh. Dude, you try, you, you, you teach a man to fish and he reels up a fucking rock somehow. Like I don't, I, I taught you what to do. Sorry, I got a little distracted by the ambient sounds. I almost thought I heard someone getting murdered. But I, I, our city's too new to have crime. I could have swore I heard somebody dying as soon as I got close. Oh, they're connected up. Okay, they have power now. I can zone everywhere else appropriately. I can zone everywhere else the way I want them to be zoned. I will give them some shops over here. So they can make their pover poverty purchases unrestricted and then you know what no no i don't want to put any industry down there however they will live next to some industry because mainly because i don't want to properly zone out a different area for industry right now so i'll just do that now what sucks is you might be wondering well if you live in this house right follow me for a minute here just follow me for a little bit if you lived in the Poplar residence, you were John Poplar, and you had a job going to the coal power plant, right? You might say, well, you're a hop, skip, and a step away from your job. But that's actually where you're wrong. Because you are poor, and you're a broke person, and I don't care about you because you don't pay me that many taxes, um, you're just going to be stuck living on a dirt road. And you might say, well, you could just give us a road that connects to the main road so I could get to my job pretty fast. Or you know what? You could even just renovate my road so I don't live on a dirt road anymore. And then you could, you know, connect me to my job. But again, you are poor. You live on the tribulation trail. You do not give me enough in taxes for me to care. So if you live in the Poplar residence and you work, let's say over here in the ice cube factory, this is your fucking route to work. You wake up, you drive actively further away from your job. You drive further away for the first like 20 minutes, the first 20 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes of your commute, you're actually just getting further away from your job. And then the next like 15 minutes, 
is just covering the same distance that you already covered on a different road. But this time, there's more people on the road. There's more risk of getting into an accident. This is the main road. This is how people get in and out of the city. So you're just fucked. I mean, this is such an annoying route. And I'll say it. I would not work on this road if I lived on, on the Tribulation Trail. But unfortunately for them, that's the only job that's offered in the city right now. So, I hate to say it, but that's just where you're stuck, pal. I'm sorry. Now, we are still running a deficit. Um, not quite making money yet. But it's slowly going to build up over time. I'm actually going to speed it up here. I'm actually going to speed it up here. They still want industry, but there's enough industry like already set up to be zoned. Just build it. Just build the factory you want to work in, bro. Why is that my job? Put a gulag for illegal aliens by the power plant. First off, that's assuming that any alien in this city is illegal. If I can tax them and they're paying their taxes, I don't care if they have a citizenship or not. You think the, the great mayor of the city of Lakewood cares whether or not you're a US citizen? Dude, I don't even, we could be Canadian for all I fucking care. I don't know where we are. As long as you're paying me money and allowing me to build 40 more parks, I'm okay. 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 Let me check. We're good on electricity. Super good on water. They're not the happiest, but when you think about the fact that only poor people living on Tribulation Road are in our city, it makes sense why they're not exactly the most happy. We are finally starting to make money which is great, actually immaculate for me. They do want some more residency. So I'll give them all that zoning. Look at these people going home from work. We are officially a little Hamlet. 460 people live in this shithole. And you know what? It's about to get shittier. I'm putting a landfill right next to them. <laughs> I'm sorry, pal. I'm sorry. You live on the tribulation trail. Yeah, I'm sorry, pal. I'm putting a landfill right next to you. I do need to pump my power and my water budget up. Throw the trash bu budget down. Throw the education budget down. Throw the healthcare budget down. Um, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will give you a medical clinic right here. I will give you a school. I actually won't because I'm broke. Sorry, you don't get schools. You need power? No, you have power. You're just being stupid. You have power. No, you have power. No, so, but there you go. Yeah, thank you. You fucking have power. Oh, you need pipes? There you go. There you go. Sorry, my medical center just didn't have access to clean water. That's my bad. That's my bad. Hey, I'll admit. I'll admit. I'll, I will take... Some of the uh, some of the blame for that, okay? Our medical center did not have access to water. My bad. Didn't think to pipe them. Um, just for the time being, I'll put some more commercial here because I don't exactly have the amount of money that makes me feel okay with dumping money on roads. You could say, well, why don't you take the loan? And to that I say, because there's actually just a much better thing to do than take the loan. Okay. Now... You're gonna realize, you're gonna notice, well, you've kind of been building this entire city off the backs of the poor while giving them nothing. I'm actually actively making their, their health worse, lowering their lifespan by putting a power plant, a water treatment center, and a landfill literally in their backyards. I'm lowering their lifespan by at least 20, 30 years, maybe even 40 years. Um, and then also, here's the crazy part, I'm gonna tax them into oblivion. Why would I take out a loan when I could just tax my citizens who are all poor? They're all well below the poverty line. 30% income tax. That's better than taking out a loan. They're already living shitty lives. Why don't I make their lives worse? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? And fuck it. I'll put some more factories in their backyard too. Why not? Why not? Why not? Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me? I'm the mayor. Who's going to stop me, bro? Now you could say, well, you could take out a loan to like give them an elementary school. Mm. 
I don't think they need to be educated much. The more educated they are, the more they're going to start realizing that they live in a shithole. Okay. My population growth has slowed considerably. And that's probably because people are a little frightened about moving to a place that has a 30% income tax. You can actually see the demand for my housing is lowering at exponential rates because people, there's no demand for a house that you have to pay 30% income when you live in it. You know what I mean? So now I lower it again. I've stripped them of a bunch of money. Um, I have legally stolen from the poor. And that has given me a little bit of money to start juicing other areas, to start decorating the town. And by decorating, I just kind of mean creating the town in the first place. I'm gonna do another six laner. This six lane gonna wrap over here and i'm already out of money to even attempt to build what i wanted to do already out of money honestly that loan is looking more and more appealing by the second but instead i'll just put more people on the tribulation trail and i'll tax them a fuck ton again it is what it is it's a winning strategy to develop a functioning high profit high value and honestly high happiness city Okay, now here's also another cheeky thing I'm gonna do. Go to the dirt road again. I'm gonna demolish these people's houses just so I can build more houses to get more tax income. Sorry, I know you've been living in that house for about a year and a half now, and it's maybe been the worst year and a half of your entire life, but I'm gonna demolish your house to put another shitty road. Dexter Harvey Drive, sure. Dexter Harvey Drive. Just so I can put up about like 20 more houses and get more people or more money from the poor. Don't call me a genius. Instead, I prefer being called a visionary. Let's zone that little spot there. The housing demand is going down because I'm filling the demand. They would like some commercial. So what I'll do is I'll actually end the tribulation trail with shops. What, where's this van going, I wonder? You're going to take a right or a left, pal? The station wagon. You're an operator at the coal plant? You're driving to work. This is what I'm talking about. You Remember that commute I was talking about? How awful your commute would be if you live on the Tribulation Trail and you work at the power plant? This guy's literally doing that right now. Albert Smith. How are you a happy man? I feel like I've done the absolute most I can to make your life awful. And yet here you are, kicking it, happy as can be. One must imagine Albert Smith happy. If you can't imagine Sisyphus happy, imagine Albert Smith happy. I've taken 40 years off this man's life and he still drives to work in all the smog, all the, all the landfill polluted air, right next to his house, by the way, with a smile on his face. Albert Smith is truly an inspirational human. I'll say it. I can't believe he's happy right now. You need water? Oh, wow, you do need water. There's, a, there's one more pipe for you, pal. You're struggling with trash? Brother, the landfill is right there. I recognize that garbage trucks are going to have a hard time getting to you. But all I have to say is... If the garbage truck is having a hard time because there's one single entrance and exit to this entire lot, why don't you just walk your trash all the way over to the landfill? See, this is how you can tell someone doesn't care about the success of their own city. He's living in filth instead of getting up off his lazy ass, walking down the tribulation trail, and throwing it in the landfill that he is a neighbor to. You live next to a landfill, bro. Don't live in one. Go throw the trash out. What an asshole. What an asshole. I need money for roads. It might be time for me to just take out the loan. I'll say it. In the garbage truck, people are hating this. You know what? You know what, bro? Just for the garbage trucks, 
because they work for the city, which means I care about them. I'll give you the tiniest little dirt road just for the garbage trucks. I don't want to see anybody else use this dirt road unless you're a garbage truck. Look at that. Only the garbage truck does it. Good job. Oh, good job. Yes. Why are you walking here? Are you, you just, are you biking to work? Who are you? Charles White. He's an uneducated adult. He's biking to work at the landfill. Oh, that'd be awful. Imagine biking to work and it's a landfill. Bro, when you bike to work, you would just smell how awful your job is about to be in the air. You would smell it, bro. Um, I do wonder how my traffic is. Oh, my traffic's great. Oh, my traffic's great. My traffic is great. That's lovely, because I just have a feeling that this is going to be a problem. Crowley Road is going to be a problem in the future. You might not believe me, but I, I just know it is. Okay. Okay. Um, do I take the loan? No. I'm actually going to tax everybody 30% again and go get a drink. And come back to about 25 grand to build a bunch of roads with. Hopefully. Okay. Now, I didn't come back to 25 grand, but that is a lot of money I'm earning. Let me speed the game up until they get really, really annoyed. Speed it up until they get really, really annoyed. My population. Oh, I grew. I grew. I'm a worthy village. Okay. Okay. Worthy village is great, but I wouldn't say there's anything I have to immediately do with that. So I'm going to lower my tax rate back down to 9%. I'm a cheeky 9% Andy. People see a 10% and they realize they're getting taxed a double digit amount of money and it pisses them off, right? It pisses them off. When you see that you have a 10% tax, it hurts. When you see you have a 9%, it still hurts, but you're like 50% less mad because it's nine and it's not quite double digit yet. Okay. Now you might be saying, well, with all this money, there's a few good things you could do. You could build a school, build a police station, a fire station maybe. You could um, build another power plant because our, our, our power's not looking the greatest. And to that I say, I'll just bump the budget. Fuck you. How's our water doing, by the way? Our water's fine. Um, but instead, what I'm going to do with this massive influx of money is actually build more roads that will not help these people at all, actually. Um, I'm not going to use this money to benefit the citizens I already have. I'm going to use this money to be benefit the citizens that I want. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Care about the water? I mean... I have been caring about the water. I could have just been dumping the poop water into this beautiful river. But here's why I chose not to do that in reality. Because when I buy this section of land, right? I'm thinking about making this little spear tip. This little tip of the whole shaft of this island here, right next to all this waterfront. An uber wealthy, mega rich spot. So I don't want to be dumping poop water right next to where I want my wealthy people to live. So instead, I actually opened up a water treatment plant just to pollute the air around my poor people so that their life is worse. Is this going to be Dick Street? You want me to make the tip of the shaft here, this little island, Dick Island, where I put the wealthy people. You want me to make the wealthy people live on Dick Island? What about this? This could be Dick Island, too. A lot of things I could do. A lot of options, I'd say. A lot of options. But worrying about that island is going to come later. What I need to do now is I'm going to make, like, primary city spot. Problem is, I'm not good with traffic. Not good with traffic. Not good with traffic. I want a big road that kind of enables people to get around most of the city. P 
penis penthouses and everything on Dick Island. <laughs> You're really committed to Dick Island, huh? You really, you really want Dick Island to be a thing? I mean, I'm down to make Dick Island. I'm just not sure the wealthy people that I plan on zoning over there are going to be that happy with it. The cock goes. <laughs> oh, you know what I just realized, bro? You want to know where the cock coast actually comes from? And I'm going to be five head as fuck when I say this, bro. You want to know what the real certified cock coast is? It's the sword coast from Baldur's Gate, bro. Come on. Sword coast. That's a cock coast. I'll show you a sword. Okay. Put a road right on through the center. Now, this is maybe not the most efficient zoning in the world, but it's good enough. This entire spot over here is pure industry. Pure industry. And now I realize it actually might not be pure industry. I spent too much money. Um, I only have $1,000 left. Oh boy, I might need to take the loan. I might need to take the loan. I'm, I might need to take the loan. I just don't like debt though. Nobody likes a deficit. How can I run on a deficit? You gotta remember, I'm trying to win like five more years of mayor so I can ruin these people's lives. So I don't want to be running on a deficit quite yet because then the, that's going to be a talking point to get me out of office. Oh boy. Hold on. Let me speed it up. See if we're running into any issues. Somehow, again, I don't understand how you could be this close to a landfill and have trash problems. Literally walk the garbage to the landfill. I realize that you pay tax money so that you don't have to do that, but come on, bro. Come on, bro. We're a new city. Help out, dipshit. I know I've taxed you 30% for like five months out of the year so far, but like, help me, dude. I'm a first time mayor. I don't know what I'm doing. And you know what? Just real quick to take even more advantage over here. Just to take even more advantage of the poor people. And not even the poor people, mainly the space that they live in. I don't have the money. There we go. I'm going to throw a road right here. So I can take more advantage. Of the zoning. More advantage of the space that they exist in. Give them some more shops over here. Good. Good. Okay. See, now they're zoning. They're filling up this space a little bit better. Oh, hey, what up, Majin? You should 100% send a nuke into the town. I wish I could. One thing I don't know how to turn on. I don't know if it's a mod or if it's in a base game or it's like an expansion I don't own. I can't turn on natural disasters. I would actually love to play this game with natural disasters on because like fucking meteors could just drop like this is already the tribulation trail their life is infinitely more impacted by how shitty their mayor is and how much their mayor hates them but, like imagine you have a shitty mayor he makes you live next to a landfill he tells you to take the trash out yourself and then a fucking meteor drops on you I wish. I wish these people's lives could get even worse. I really do. Okay. Now they are wanting industry. So I'm going to pause the game. Take out one cheeky small loan of 20 grand. Okay. And I'm going to flesh out. I'm going to flesh out my little zone of industrialization over here. Because I am putting all of my factories right next to the highway. Right next to it. Oh, I fucked that pipe up. Well, that was a waste of money. All right, let's start zoning my industry over here. Industry, 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 industry. And that is enough just for the time being, because I want the power to link up. Natural disasters is a DLC. Oh, see, that's why I can't play with it. 
I don't have every one of the like 374 DLC this game has, bro. Whenever I look at this game on Steam and I see the amount of DLC, it's like mind blowing. I get why, but it's mind blowing. Especially because all of those could have just been like a few patches and the game would be five times as big, but they saw an opportunity to cash out and it worked. Now, does anybody get the impression that my city kind of looks like a, a very cartoonishly drawn R? You know what I mean? Like, this is the main stem of the R. This is the arch. And then this is the little... This is the little de defining factor. This right here, this little lane of in industry is what changes this from a big P to an R. Do we rename Lakewood? We haven't given it its own name yet. Mm. If I'm struck with inspiration, I'll name it. Oh, you need power? This isn't zoning the way I would hope. Build something here, you Cretans. Build something. All right, what if? I don't want to build any anything on these two roads because they're one ways. But I was already planning on putting some shops here for the people that work. So that, like, you know, if you're on your break, you could go buy a granola bar or something. Maybe a water, because there's no way these factories have water in them. Um, I've actually put a, a, a city-wide, village-wide ban on giving your employees water at work. Um, I've actually found it lowers how much we earn as a city when you actually give your employees water. So I've banned that. You're just not allowed to do that. Um, I need them to zone faster or they are not going to have power. Actually, truth be told, even if they zoned, I don't think they'd have power. I'm just going to have to link them up temporarily, which is my least favorite thing in the world. Having to do a temporary power link in this game hurts because it's actually just money that you have to spend that could easily be avoided if you wanted to be 5% smarter with your zoning. I'm just not. Looks like Spongebob's Gary. Oh, dude, you know what this looks like? This looks like this angle right here looks like one of the fighting gym badges. What Pokemon region is that in? It's like the fourth gym, it's fighting, and it's a silver, like, boxing glove. You know what I'm talking about? This looks like a gym badge to me, is what I'm trying to say. Um, how's my zoning? How's my... Oh, right. You can make districts. Okay. Let me immediately put all of my poor people into one district. Mills Heights. Hmm. It's definitely not Mills Heights. Um. Oh. Oh. The poor popule. The poor popule. It's actually just the greatest district known to man. Um, I'm going to tell them. Oh, it ups my upkeep. Here's the thing. Do I tell them to use less water and less electricity because they are poor? And I would rather that water and electricity go to my high paying tax enjoyers. Or... Do I not do that because I'm spending more money on my poor popule? I'm actually completely mixed on this because some humanitarian part of me thinks that it's actually worse to spend money so that someone has less of something. Like, cause I would be spending money to make sure they have less water and power than everyone else. But the capitalist in me wants to spend no money on my poor people. Hmm. I guess you have the same amount of water and electricity as everyone else for now. For now. We don't exactly have the kind of money that would make me okay with dumping it on you. I will give us a fire station. Now you might be thinking, oh, what a great mayor. He built a fire station so that in case uh, any of his citizens experience a fire they're not going to burn down wrong wrong i actually only bought the fire station so that if one of my 
many factories burns down, it's not gonna hurt the bottom line of this uh, county. They do want more residency. And I'm a little worried about giving it to them. But I realize this is on the dirt road. This was going to end up being zoned anyway. I'll zone it up to here. Oh, oh, shit. No, no. Oh, eh, eh, oh, oh, eh, pause. I don't want you to demolish your home. Do not demolish your home just because I momentarily dezoned you there, pal. Please, please don't. Please, 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 please. I know I talk shit about my poor populace a lot, but that doesn't mean I want you to move out right now. You can move out later. That's fine. Just not right now. I need to profit off of you first. Okay. Uh, how's my traffic? Oh, dude, my traffic's not bad. My traffic's not bad. Good. Good, good, good. Probably because a lot of the people in the poor popul literally don't even have cars. <laughs> if, dude, let me wait. Remind me when it's daytime. Look, we can see someone there now. She's walking to work. I told you, the people in the poor populace do not have cars. She's walking to work. Hot dog cars are leaving. Why is a hot dog van going to the ice cube factory? What? What kind of industry are we running? Don't tell me the ambulance is taking the dirt road. It is. This is a hellscape. And it's stuck behind, it's stuck behind an ice cube, bro. The ambulance is stuck behind a truck delivering ice cubes. I'm sorry you're dying. This McDonald's needs their ice pronto. Oh my God. Whoever you're going to is dead. There's crime. I don't have police. Sorry, I don't have police. You're, you have to move out. If your house is getting robbed, just demolish the house. I don't have police. You need workers? Oh, fuck, dude. Okay. I need to take out a loan. I need to take out the big boy loan. I have 60 grand on me. For starters, police station. Boom. Solve my crime problem. Now, here's where we get to do the fun stuff. I am going to put residential zone that's the main road to get the residence. And this upper half arc, half circle part, this is where I'm gonna put a lot of residence here. A lot of residence here. I'm gonna curve this. So we're gonna go. Oh, that was a shitty curve. Hold on, that was my bad, that was my bad. Boom. Boom. And then we're going to do little offshoots off this road. Like this. Now, yes, there is infinitely better ways I could have zoned this. You have to understand, these are my normal citizens. Okay, I'm not trying to maximize what I get out of them. We want to put all of the financial burden of this entire city onto the poor folks. We want to have the people that have the least contribute the most. And in my honest opinion, that's how you end up with a functional, successful city. Whether or not that's a good take or a bad take, I don't care. I'm going to put elementary school right there. Also a clinic over here. And before I give you anything else, I need you zoned and piped and watered and powered and just... I need you to be ready to go before I spend any more money on facilities that you might not even care about right now. Need to be efficient with my piping because I haven't been the whole time. That's how I ended up with this little gap. It's an annoying ass little gap. Boom. Extra money I just shouldn't have had to use. Um. Let me... Zone everything. Belmont Way, right next to Prospect Avenue. I don't like the names that have been auto-generating for my roads throughout this playthrough. Evans Road, terrible name. Prospect Avenue, terrible name. Like, come on.
Come on, bro. Can we have decent road names? Boom, 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 boom. This is all residential. All residential. This is a nice little neighborhood, dude. I like this neighborhood here. I'll give them a park at some point when I have A, the money, and B, the ability to do so. Um, on this main street here, I'll put commercial, commercial. We'll leave this upper arc empty for now. And then start filling this in with industry so that hopefully it'll zone together at some point. At some point. Commercial, commercial, commercial. Let me let it run for a little bit. Top speed. Yeah, you're already complaining about water or about power, but I'm hoping you connect up before I have to do anything. That's the thing. Like connect up just right here. Just build one more house here and like a few more shops and you'll connect up right away. Never mind. I have to connect you. It is what it is. I have to connect you with how the zoning is going to play out. Why would you build the furthest away from anything that's connected? Aggravating, dude. Aggravating. And I don't have enough power anyway. We're all... Oh, yeah. We're fucked. Come on, guys. Oh. Tiny town, though. We are bigger, but that doesn't exactly make us good. Bulldoze, hello? Can I? Dude. Let me bulldoze my power lines. Bro. Oh, okay. Well, they don't want to let me bulldoze my power lines for some reason. Why, actually? That's so weird. Oh, I was underground bulldozing. There we go. Our power is down. What's our budget looking like? Okay, I can pump this a little bit. Certainly pump the water. That'll fix the water. I'll pump the garbage just a tad. Pump the health just a tad. I do have education up. Now, call me crazy. I believe in investing in the future. So that's why I pumped my education budget. Damn near as high as it'll go. And you all need power, huh? Power that I'm unwilling to give you right now, but there you go. Resume it all. Max speed it. There you go. Start zoning. Start zoning. Start zoning quick. Okay. No, I have to pay for another power plant. I have to pay for another power plant. Uh, sorry. Miscellaneous random factory I don't know anything about. Uh, get bulldozed. Now that I have two power plants, I'm going to lower the power budget. We're going to start running excess here. Somebody zone in here. Or we're going to lose this medical clinic. Zone, zone, zone. Zone, zone, zone. Are you going to lose the medical clinic, dude? Don't you want your children to have pediatricians and whatnot? Come on. Zone, zone, zone. And I still need to pump the power even higher somehow. Crazy work. How's my traffic? It's looking okay. Looking okay. Come on, bro. What? Okay, now my power's too good. Oh, wow, they desperately need power. It's a tragedy to have to do this, but I'm spending money just so I don't have to lose the, the medical clinic. It's crazy that they haven't zoned up to the medical clinic yet. Wait, I made these dirt roads? No. No, I didn't want to give you dirt roads. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, let's get you all off of dirt roads. I don't want you to be on dirt roads. If you have to demolish, you have to demolish. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I don't want you living on these shitty ass roads. I'm, I'm so sorry, people of Belmont Way. I didn't want you to live on these 
those tiny roads. I meant to give you big, wide ones with si sidewalks and whatnot. I apologize. I nearly fucked their... their uh, wow, I nearly rolled their, their neighborhood. I didn't even think about that. I was not trying to give you all sidewalks. I apologize. Or, I mean, dirt roads. We have one police department, one fire department... One school, and let me tell you, it is hard for the poor people to get their kids to school. My bad. I will give you guys, right away, some big boy parks. And, and, some small ones. This is how I drive up the property value. Just pump parks. Pump parks. You know what? Ooh, parks and recreation. I'm gonna put a smoking ban Actually, no, I'm not. Actually, yes, I am. Listen, fuck your happiness. You need to be healthy, okay? You need to be healthy. I realize the people of Poor Popular are living terrible lives, and I'm telling you to be healthy while I have you living next to a land. Oh, you're literally dying of sickness already? Move out. Move out. Yes, you can't smoke. Prioritize your health. But also, if you get sick because you live next to a landfill, two power plants, and a, a water uh, treatment plant, sorry, you're moving out. Can the robots join the workers' union? Shut the fuck up, Audrey. What are you talking about? Robots in a workers' union. Are you stupid? Uh, my city is not filled with the brightest of folks. Not filled with the brightest of folks. I realize that's probably because I just now built an elementary school so we probably don't have the smartest people living here but i didn't realize it was that bad how are my loans looking let's pay that one off right away jeremy roberts is chirping about his vacation and asking someone to water his plants while he's already on oh you're on fire are they going to make it in time? Are they going to make it in time? I'm so sorry, the Holly residents. I'm going to mark this as a historical building. The first building that burned down in the poor popular. And I'll say it, the first of many. Historical occasion. Why are we all parking on the side of a dirt road? We're all just parking on the very side of a dirt road, huh? Well, if you're going to park there, it may as well be because there's a park there. Huh? Huh? I'm actually only doing that to make them sl the slightest bit happier so that they don't leave the city quite yet. They can leave later. Just not right now while I'm... I just unlocked enough shit. This is why I told them not to leave the city. Because I'm about to tax everybody. The fattest 30% for a little bit. What kind of money are we pulling in here? The fattest 30%. I'm pulling in five grand. Oh, easy five. Six grand. Seven? Hey, give me a give me a ten grand here. Give me oh I'm ripping money right now. Just building up. Building up. Building up. Building up. Building up. The coffers of the city. Our banks are massive. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, now that they're in the red, pause. Dump it all back down to that cheeky 9% I told you about. A lovely 9%. People are not mad about a 9%. As long as you keep the rate below double digits, they don't care. 9% may as well be double digits, but you don't see anybody complaining about it. Do you? Do you? Sewage treatment? Wow. You guys need another inland water treatment, huh? And you know what? I'm putting that shit right next to the landfill. Yes. And the other one's right next to the landfill too. I am treating your water that you drink, shower, and clean your dishes with. I'm treating that water right next to a landfill. Oh, you're welcome. I don't I don't know what this city would do without me. Thrive? Be happy? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I would like to slightly raise my park budget. It is only $30 right now. Water? You have water. Oh, I lowered the water budget too much. Too much. Too much. Ka. Huh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. No way we're running low on power, too. Bro, I have two power plants. How? That's actually crazy. I have two power plants? Recreational use? I need more money. Recycling, yes. Fuck your power usage. I don't care if I'm spending more money per building. We need to be using less power. I do also likely need another landfill at some point. Alright. I need to buy something. Not that one. I'll buy this one. And I'll buy this one. Our city's fucking huge now. Here's why I did that. Space already occupied. Fuck this road. That dirt road is a joke to me. I'll put it back later, but... Boom. Let me get that dirt road back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know that's, like, super important for, um... A, your commute, and mainly your trash. Um... Okay. Now, the reason I built this road... Is so that I could safely dump another landfill over here. Which I believe will need to have water, right? Uh... These people are dying. Listen, if you die in my city, expect to get evicted. You really aren't allowed to be sick here. Ah, uh, I said it. I said it. You are not allowed to be sick here. Now, hopefully now that there's a second landfill... Um, oh, a second landfill isn't even what I should have done. I should have just raised my garbage budget first. Ugh, actually brain rotted. Actually kind of brain rotted. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. They want more residential. So bad. They love residential right now. Am I able to... Here we go. Yes. No, it's not a flood wall I want. I want a quay. Yeah. Yeah, I want this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm about to start the uber wealthy spot. Or at least one of them. I'm going to make residential. I'm going to make water. Seaside residential. Riverside residential. You're on a shoreline. What are you talking about? There you go. There you go. There you go. You're, there you go. Boom. Okay. That's all quayed off. I'm going to leave this spot. My city looking. Another person dying. Oh, so many people are dying. Wow. Move out. Move out. Move out. Move out. Move out. Eh, move out. You're dying to the landfill. Fuck you. You're running out of power? You left? You're in the nice part of town and you left. Let's put a cemetery. Let's put elder care right next to the cemetery so that the transport cost is low. Elder care right next to the cemetery. If you think about it, it makes sense. I'm having people abandon? Bro, you're just stupid. I'm losing money? On what? Wow. I gotta lower that, I think. Yep, that was costing me a lot. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna need more power, dude. I'm gonna need more power, dude. Alright, that's fine. Since there's a landfill over here, there's probably not gonna be many people existing over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some windmills on this high wind, high value area. I'm going to quickly take out a loan. Pause the game. One more. 
And you know what? Two more. Quickly connect that up so that we can access that. And then work on some more residential. Uh, but I need money for that. I really do need money for that, believe it or not. I don't just have a four lane that has trees on it and looks nice. Why? I just need more population. Okay, wow. I thought I could have trees. I guess not. I wanted to put a nice tree having road through the center of the big P here, the big R, and then have like another semicircle of residential right over here. I wanted to basically copy this and flip it onto the other side. Um, hmm. They do also want more residential which I can just quickly do for them. Boom, or not residential, industrial I meant. Best viewers on, yeah, I'm sure, crumbling diameter. The bot made yesterday, this bot was made. That's actually, 93024 is when this bot account was made. And he got that, he got that bot account working right away. <laughs> not even a day old and it's out here telling me to buy bots. Bye, viewers. Ban speedrun for real? <laughs> yeah, that is probably one of the closest, fastest ways you could do. I guess the best ban speedrun would be uh, an automod one, right? But my automod doesn't really ban. <laughs> my automod does a surprising little amount. How's power? We still need more of it. Still need more of it. All right, I need a huge money injection. I need a huge money injection. Here's what I'm worried about, boys. Here's what I'm worried about. I would love to up all of my taxes to 30% and just rip a fuck ton of money from my 3,200 strong population. What I'm worried about is right now there's a very high demand for housing. People want to move in, and I want to give them that housing. Problem is, if I take the big 30% tax dump um, to fund giving them that housing, then people aren't going to want to move here anymore. So I'm in a bit of a dilemma. A bit of a dilemma. I could spend less money and try to make part of my wealthy spot there. Problem is, there's also industry over here. I don't exactly want my wealthy people to be living next to industry. But honestly, it's looking like that's what they're gonna have to do. Why don't it, they ever give me nice roads off start? I really don't have any roads with trees yet until I get the next population bump. Man, all right. I don't want to give them one of those. I want to give them one of these. For now, this is a little wealthy person in a spot over here. For now. Just for now. It's going to get bigger and better and way cooler and way richer later on. But for now, this is where... A lot of my wealthy people are going to live. I'm going to let this zone first. It should immediately fill because our... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The demand is so high, it's going to immediately fill. Now, I've confirmed that this will all connect up. So I'm going to start finishing all that there. I will go ahead and toss my wealthy people a small playground right here. And you know what? Another small playground right here. Boom. That ups the land value a lot. And once you have high land value, you can start charging a lot for it. This guy is dying to the landfill in his backyard. Then move out then, dumbass. If you can't handle the, the backyard landfill lifestyle, 
Don't live it then. You can't handle it. Don't live it then, buddy. He, he's dying too. You can't handle the landfill in your backyard. Don't live in a spot where there's a landfill in the backyard. Why are there 47 police cops, uh, cop cars going through the dirt roads? There's not even crime on the dirt road. Where are they going? You need more workers. Okay. You need trash. Well, the landfill is exceedingly far from you. Another person dying to the landfill. Fuck off. You're on fire? That's like the one thing I didn't give you guys was a fire marshal. Sorry about that. You're gonna die probably. And now my zoning demands have lowered. I have to, oh, I have to spend temporary money Oh, I have to temporarily spend money so that they connect up so that they don't leave before they're fully connected. Where's my land value? Um, here it is. Land value. Land value. I don't have great land value right now, but it's, it's like midway. It's middling land value. Free fun. Free fun. Lake Street. Okay, there's no lake. There is no lake. These are verifiably big ass rivers. What do you mean lake street? I'm actually so annoyed I'm changing this. This is not a lake street. Can't, river street. I know I haven't done my best to pump the education of this city, but who was dumb enough to name that lake street? I didn't name it. Oh, wow. Having power issues again? Greedy fucks just want more and more all the time. Just more and more all the time. There's two more windmills. Dude, that sounded like a bomb just went off in my city. What? Bro, you have power. Quit bitching. Quit bitching, bro. There's only so much another windmill can do. Okay, they want more industry. And I am inclined to give it to them. Go ahead and put some commercial right here. Fill the rest of this out with industry. You have water there, right? Yeah, you do. You do. You do. So that should fill my industry demands. You're having bad times with the fire as well. Yikes, pal. Yikes. Yikes. Dude, I, uh, I'm feeling some kind of way about how round my city is. Anyone else feel that way? Something about how it's just so round and weird. Kind of bugging me. I think I kind of like my city more to look like a hellish landscape made in Excel. You need educated workers. So you're telling me the place you live in is filled with stupid people. Oh, and a stupid mayor. How is this not green availability? Bro, you live like on the same street as this elementary school. How is this not green availability to everybody over here? So weird. How's my traffic? My traffic is fucking horrendous now. Oh boy. Oh boy. You need to get egg egged out. You do. You do. You do. I need to alleviate all of this pronto. Why are people choosing to use the dirt road to go to a bunch of places? Actually just foolish. Actually just foolish people. Now I need you to give you I need to give you a big road. I need to give you one of these. Six laner. A six laner. Straight from the middle. Right into this corner. I know it's occupied, but like... Let me do it right in the corner, bro. I get that it's occupied. Move it. 
There's also power lines here still. I can't put it in the corner because of these streets. But I want it in the corner. Fuck you. Okay, now real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap you back in there. There we go. There we go. What a fucked up intersection. What a fucked up intersection. But that's the intersection you guys are getting. Fuck you. <laughs> now that one is straight, but I wanna mildly curve this. Oh, this looks stupid. <laughs> this looks dumb. Yeah, I know you desperately need workers. Fuck off, bro. I'm trying. I'm getting overstimulated here. All right. We're going to fill a lot of residential. We're going to fill a lot of residential right now. That's another road connecting you over if you want. Trying to give my people options. And now I fill you in with some big time roads. I need money. Do I have a loan? I need money. I don't have a loan. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I need actually so much money. Okay, it's, it's, it's tax raising season. Listen, it's the yearly, actually it's like four times a year I just bump the fucking tax up to 30% because I need money and these people do not want to give it to me without a fight. All right. $30,000 is hopefully enough to do what I need. So I'm going to lower your taxes before everybody leaves the fucking city. Um, first off, pipe down, shreddy. Ah, yeah, yeah. We got to cover all of this up. Abandoned house? Dude, leave then. Well, I guess he did leave. If, <laughs> if it's an abandoned house, I guess he probably did leave. You know what? I can't be mad at him. He made his decision and committed. Okay. That's all watered up. Um, I would like to give you one last big road. And then I want to fill in these bigger gaps with the smaller roads. Do I not have tree roads yet? I don't. I want to give them tree roads. What do I need to reach it? 4,600? Okay, where is another area that I can quickly fill some residential in? Just quickly. Just quickly give more residential. Off of here. This is a nice offshoot. This is a nice offshoot. Get some more residential there. Keep her flowing. Keep her flowing. Offshoot here. Keep it going. Oh, no. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got water? Of course not. Now you do. This is all residential. All of it. Washington Street, Hunter Street, River Street. All right. Obviously, you're going to zone right away, right? Yes. Good, 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 good. Start filling up here. Okay, I get it. You need workers, but I'm trying my damnedest. And you're, you're all abandoning. You know what? Fuck this whole row. I don't care. I don't care. No, fuck all of you. No, even the people that don't, that aren't pissy at me. Be mad at your neighbors. They caused this. I'm demolishing this whole fucking... Fuck you. Fuck my industry. Wow. Wow. Dipshits. Dipshits. You'll rue the day you piss this city off. You'll never, you'll never build another factory here. Never. Oh my god, we're down on water? Man, they always need something. They always need something, bro. All right, that's more water. There you go. You're welcome. Now I need my population. Gotta go, good night. All right, later, Platinum. Oh, you guys. 
needy. You're so needy. I don't want to. I don't want to pump shit in the water, though. I do not want to pump shit in the water. I do not want to pump shit in the water. I don't. I don't. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm pumping shit in the water. It is what it is. It is what it is. They're bitching and moaning too much. I'm pumping shit in the water. They are bitching and moaning. I am gonna pump shit in the water. Don't bitch and moan or complain about it. You asked for it. I don't have the nice... I'm so close to having roads with trees. Come on. Trees with roads, roads with trees. Come on, I'm so close. 30 more people need to be born or move in. 30. Come on. 12. 11. 10. Come on, come on. 8. Come on, bro. Just move in. Five more people. Five more people. One more person. Thank you. Officially a busy town. Pause. All right, now that I have some nice trees... Now, these are just small, nice tree filled uh, uh, roads here where I'm going to put some more nice, well developed housing. This is my middle class. This road doesn't need to exist because this is a fucking stupid ass mountain. Why does this bridge look like this, by the way? This bridge just looks dumb. How does that work? Whatever. 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 Um, off rip. Give them a dog park. Kind of in the center. Um, on the other side, I give them a regular park. And then just up here, I give them a big one on one of the more main roads. They do have water. I'm gonna give them medical clinic. Uh, I would like to have childcare up and running. Over here. Perfect. 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 I need more money, but that's fine because they have no schooling. You know, I I said that I was a mayor that prefers to work on my schooling. I want to make sure my people are educated. Um, but also, I haven't spent much money on my schooling. So you could maybe say I've overpromised and underdelivered, but I would prefer to say that my priorities have maybe changed. And I am going to put one more landfill. Ah. <sighs> See, the thing is I need it there for the traffic purposes. I don't want to put it there because the pollution is going to end up leaking into uh, people that I care about. Um, but the sad reality of it is I need a landfill there because the traffic is getting bad for the garbage trucks. I, I recognize I have too many landfills right now. And you would be right about that. I certainly have too many landfills for the point in the game that I'm at. But traffic wise, I need to do this. Make all of this commercial because it's on the main road. Start filling in all this residential again. Um, this can be commercial. This can be commercial. This side, though, this will be residential. Yeah, that'll be residential. Um, sneak in a small park right here. Just sneak it in there. Just slot it right in. Pearl Street, Travis Street, White Street, Hamilton Street, Franklin Street. I thought this said Gay Street, bro. <laughs> I did not see the R on that. Okay, looking good, looking solid. Let's get this zoned off and ready to go. Can you zone, please? 
start filling it in. I know you guys need power and all that, but it won't it won't matter if you just fill it in. You just fill it in. Come on. Wow. I built all of that and the demand for housing plummeted. The demand for housing plummeting there just cucked me. So hard. And we don't have enough power. This city is not going the greatest. I'll say it. I I'll be the first to say. I need to pump our budget on electricity. I just need to. What's my crime budget? Okay, it's just at 100. That's fine. You died to the landfill again? Then don't live here. Then don't live here. I need more industry. But I don't have many places that I'm comfortable putting more industry at. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Over here. Bro, I'm dumb. Put industry over here, bro. Literally in the back of my head, I haven't been saying it, but in the back of my head, I've been sitting here trying to think about where I'm going to put more industry. And I forgot I made this whole road just for one more landfill. Oh, no, 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 no. These need to connect. It is, it is what it is. They need to connect. There. Fuck you. You have power now. Good. Good. Once the rest of this fills up, I can take those away. I just need one small connection down here or even over here. One connection, bro. I know none of you care. Fuck you. You need more workers. You don't need more workers if you're fucking gone. You do not need more workers if I'm not even allowing you to work here. All right. Now I can get some refunding for this. Oh, maybe not for this. Oh, no. It connected. Good. Good. I actually could not have timed. I could not have timed refunding those any better. Lovely, lovely. How's my land value? It's not the greatest yet, but it's it's getting up there. Now it kind of looks like Pac-Man. No, no, no. The poor popule. Um, no, 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 no. Fuck. So dumb. We have the poor popule, and then we also have. Da -da 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 the middling mid. For the mid lean mid, since you're all, you're going to use smoke detector distribution because you motherfuckers are surrounded by woods. And if you burn, the rest of the fucking city is going to burn. I'll say it. Wow. We have a crime problem in this city. I will be the first to tell you a crime issue but now that i've put them there we should be good now i really do actually want to start pumping my education pay this loan i do genuinely really want to pump my education but i'm just running into so many other problems that are preventing me from doing so like this power issue wait Oh god, the traffic here is terrible. I mean, of course, it, this should be a roundabout. This should actually be a roundabout. Okay, hold on. No, I don't want... Oh god. What is all here that's stopping me immensely? There 
are things in the way of this roundabout. I want it to I want to I want to rotate it I don't want it to be snapping none none no snapping please this is still snapping okay well the roundabout's gonna look dumb the roundabout is stupid I could have just made my own roundabout too. Now that I think about it, I could have just made one. I guess I'll pull that there. <sighs> Hopefully that somehow fixes it. Somehow. I don't think it will, but um, how's my zoning looking? It's probably all sorts of fucked now. Yeah. It's all sorts of fucked. All sorts of fucked now. That's okay. that get some more commercial down this lane great great industry yeah you guys still want more industry well I mean it's there you can go there now I need power um, I need to take a loan and immediately dump this loan on a fucking coal power plant yeah I mean I just have to we are so bad on power So bad on power for like no reason. It's actually traumatizing how bad at, at power we are right now. I'm gonna need an oil one here soon. I'm gonna need to get oil up and running. Hmm. Wow, you still want more industry? I haven't given you enough? I wanna focus on education, but they just, they, the industry needs have not been met, I guess. I don't have the money for this. Well, that's fine. Zone, uh, all like this for now. Yep, that's all industry. There you go. The industry demand you're asking for, it's all right there. You go ahead and go there, please. Power is still looking abysmal. Why is my power so abysmal? My education's abysmal. Pump my education, please. Get these parks going a bit better. My roads. I don't even... Huh. I don't really need to pump more road budget, to be honest. My traffic is abysmally bad. Oh, what they really need is they need a... This intersection, go here too. We need another out to people leaving this way. And we need another in. This road. Pop up there. Did I just fix it? Am I a five head genius traffic enjoyer? Or uh, not enjoyer, hater? This fixes my traffic, right? These changes I've implemented? I mean, it has to. 
It has to. It's not going away. It's not even coming close to going away. What is this primarily filled with? You know what, dude? You know what, bro? These can't be one way? Wow, these can't be one way? But these can? Oh. Actually crazy, I can't make these one way. I was going to make this one way going north. Because the traffic here is just abysmal. More intersections. More options. Maybe. Maybe. Water? Oh, wow. Yeah, you really need water. I'm so sorry. I told you I was going to fill your industry need, and then I just cucked you on the water. <laughs> sorry about that, Bell. Oh, we're good on the power now. Lower that a bit. Good on the power. Good on the power. Good on the power. It's just this traffic I'm trying to worry about now. I'm actually only ever making my traffic worse with everything I do. I do not know how we're so cucked here. Fuck this dirt road. You no longer connect there. Sorry, dirt road. You no longer connect there. I have a sneaking suspicion the dirt road was also helping to cuck me. Look at that. That just alleviated it entirely from the dirt road. But now this is all jammed up. Oh, God. People can't go to work. They can't go to the rich houses. They can't do anything. It's all just jammed up here. Can I make the roundabout bigger? Make this roundabout huge, bro. Massive. Huge. Just in just so many fucking lanes. It's ridiculous. Come on, get more and more people through this roundabout. Please, bro. My traffic is awful. Okay, this is another thing that's massively cucking me is how tiny this road is. Make that road bigger. Why is that road so small? We're American. Make these roads huge. And you know what else is also doing it, dude? Now that I'm looking at it. We need one road going through the center of the industry so they have more options to get out. They have more options to get out. Abandoned? Why are you abandoning? Was it the water problem or what's going on? You can't get workers? Oh, you really can't get workers, huh? Yeah, you really can't get workers. All right, back to the dirt roads. Back to the dirt roads. It's time to expand the poor population. The poor population needs expanding. A lot of progress in the start of the stream. Eh, this game goes pretty fast. I will say one thing I do and don't like about this game is that when you implode and you lose, you implode fast like super speed it's like once you start losing in this game it's joke it's done you get into a debt problem and you get into a, a people are evacuating your city because it's a hazard to live there and you're it's over for you pal all right let me beef up my poor population i need them to go work in the factories problem is there's no demand and of course i'm always down on electricity Pump the budget again. No, this is not Brook Square. I, I named this the the middling, the middling mid. Yeah, sure. Oh no 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 no. What what's um? What's the center of an arachnid called? The thorax? No no. I want the center. I'm going to call it the Midling Thorax. Fuck it. You ever live in the Midling Thorax area? It's a great place to live, honestly. 
Not enough buyers for products? How is that my fault that you can't sell something? How many people are fucking in your city at the current moment? A mat, dude, it'd actually be kind of cool if you could make like a red light district in your game. Like, wh where's the Amsterdam DLC that just lets me sell drugs and prostitutes and whatever the fuck I want to do? You know what I mean? Think about the tax revenue. Just think about the tax revenue. Now, also, you might be taxing, um, you might be taxing, what's the word I'm looking for? You might be taxing, like, the dignity of your people as well, but fuck them. enough buyers for our products how am i supposed to fix that it's not my fault that you can't sell anything it's not my fault what does the mayor have to do oh okay well it is my fault i demolished the wrong factory but no really though what does the mayor have to do with your business it's not my fault you can't sell how, how am i supposed to fix that I need more power again. Fine, fine. You know what? An oil power plant. Because the coal one wasn't enough for you greedy pieces of shit. An oil power plant. And yes, I'm banging my budget all the way down. All the way down. Surely we have enough electricity for me to do that. Okay, we do. Good. Good. Big town. 7,000 people here. <sighs> Incineration plant as well. I would love to be incinerating my garbage right now. Love to be. Excuse me. I would like some elder care up here. Thank you. Fires surprisingly haven't been an issue in my city. Dude, how do I fix them having product that they just can't sell? I genuinely don't understand how me as the mayor, I have anything to do with whether or not these factories can sell the shit they're making. Then don't make a factory that sells goods nobody wants. Am I crazy to think that? Fuck this dirt road. The dirt road now connects over here. Getting tired of my traffic. You know what? A dirt road into the main road over here. I said I would never connect the poor people to the main road. I have to. They're dying to the landfill again. Don't move in if there's a landfill right next to you. The factories need to get good. Why can't they sell their shit? I know. All I am is a city planner. I'm a civil engineer. You know, I'm a civil engineer. I also realize the game's like probably been unbearably loud this whole time. I apologize. But I am a civil engineer. It's I don't understand product lines and selling things. I just design a good city. I don't have buyers for products. Like how do I How do I fix that, bro? Ready to wear LTD. So you're selling shitty white shirts. You're selling packs of like 40 shirts for $5 and you're wondering why you can't sell it. And somehow they want more industry. Boys, our industry is dying. Why do you want more? What is that? What are these things? Ancient ruins? Like what? That looks like an ancient ruin. If I buy this square, do you think I can up my tourism numbers because of that? What the fuck? You can just buy a massive clock? Oh, I desperately need to get my schooling up. How long has it been since I built the last elementary school? Decades? Gotta be, right? We have no education in this city. None. Oh no, dude! I, I'm, this city is gonna die on the industry problem. 
But I honest to God do not understand why our industry performs so poorly. We only have level one industry. I mean, that makes sense. I don't even have level three residentials yet. Wow. Tomb of a lost Pharaoh found in what? Tomb of a long lost Pharaoh found in the Valley of the Kings, lost and found. Wow, man, great tweet. Great tweet. This guy with 74 followers and three likes on his post is gonna tell me about what's going on in Egypt. Thanks, man. Real glad I followed you to keep up to date. Oh, I just, I put an industry on the, oh, the traffic is just awful. What is this? No wonder there's not enough buyers. Everybody's stuck. Wait, and is this all like, it's all factory stuff. Why is it all? It's literally all factories. Wait, and why are you taking a left? No, you're not. Wait, let me just make this a one way again. Let me make this a big fat ass one way. There we go. Will that help alleviate the traffic? We were just not using half the lanes we had on that road. The roads are the same size as your dick. Too small to please. Okay, well, my dick is functional. These roads aren't even functional. I know there's a way you can do junctions, yeah. It's just a stop sign for these people. You fuck off. You fuck off. I need them moving. You know what I mean? I need them moving. But a lot of them take this left. Hmm. Maybe this junction will fix my traffic? Nope, it just moved it. <laughs> oh! Oh! And why does everybody choose to take the dirt road to go to the factory? Bro, take the main road. Oh my god, I'm, I'm disconnecting this dirt road again. This is the only road connecting the pores to the entire city. Will that fix my traffic? I fixed this over here, but it's because no one needs to use this anymore. Speed is key. I know, bro. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, while we sit and watch my traffic, you want to know something crazy? For the last few months, I've been like in my head bitching and moaning about my camera because it was always close, right? Like you remember my camera was basically kind of like this, right? It was very close and I was always upset about my field of view. Cause I would do things and I would like edit it later for a YouTube short or something. And my camera would just not pick it up. And so today when I moved my camera, I was like, I was fucking with my settings. I go in my settings. Tell me why my camera, like my hardware was halfway zoomed in the whole time. Bro, it defaulted my camera to halfway zoomed in. I don't even want to think about the amount of time that the camera hasn't caught something because it's been halfway zoomed in this whole time. And again, all of my industry workers love taking the dirt road. Why? Well, my traffic is better this way. Surprisingly, my traffic is actually better. Um, and I'm about to make it worse. I'm going to give them a second option. I'm going to give them a one-way only option. A one-way only option. Coming out of here. Connecting to the rest of the industry. One way only. Maybe this can help my traffic. I doubt it. I need to fuck with the junctions for sure. I need to fuck with the junctions for sure. 
I need this to not be a light. I need this to be a stop sign for you. And just let people roam free. Just let people roam. Just let them go. If they crash into each other, they crash. But I need this traffic to not be a thing. Are there any lurkers? I don't think so. My stream's dead, bro. My stream is dead. I fell off before I ever got on. Oh, God. This traffic is just abysmal. Is there something else I can do to the junction over here, maybe? Like, what if this is just stop sign? Same way here. It's just a stop sign. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This traffic is... <laughs> He's getting fucked. Poor guy. Dude, what? This is awful. Someone's dying today because of this change I just made. Local news. Mayor takes down a, a traffic lights, installs a stop sign. Accidents rise 473% overnight. Why does this mayor keep putting in stop signs? I will be your angel, your healer, V2K. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Man, where my traffic's bad, it's bad, but... The real issue is this exporting problem. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know how much longer this run's gonna go because I feel like it's just on its way out the door. I feel like we're just losing. You know what I mean? All right, fuck it. Fuck it. A money infusion. Pump everyone's taxes to 30%. I need money. Oh, they want housing? Pfft. That housing demand is gonna plummet because you no one wants to move in and build a house in a place that's got 30% tax income or income tax. Keep giving me money. Keep giving me money. Keep giving me money. Keep giving me money. The moment I see someone go to red, I swap it off. The moment I see someone go to red, I swap it off. Pay me, pay me, pay me. There we go. Pause. Now we drop it back down to the 9%. We all love the 9%. My first time playing? Oh, Lord, no. Oh, Lord, no. I've, I've done multiple cities on stream. Probably not this channel, but on stream for sure. I could actually load them. Okay. They want residential. They want residential. They want residential. They want residential. I don't want to put residential up here because of the landfill, but I'm going to need to, no? I'm going to need to. Get some small roads with some nice trees. And just build a nice little neighborhood. A nice little neighborhood. Boom, 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 do some commercial here. Boom, 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 and we'll do high density residential here. Bunch of apartments going up that way. I love this game and I enjoyed playing the older ones. I haven't played the newer one, City Skylines 2. I've heard it had some issues. But also, I'm literally too broke to buy a game. So even if City Skylines 2 was good, I'd still be here streaming City Skylines 1. Oh, I think this runs out the door. Dude, I think we're going to die soon. I do not think this city is thriving anymore. And they still want more industry. They want more industry, but industries are abandoning the city. My exporting problem is terrible. You know what it is? I might need another way out of the city. I might need another way out of the city. Highways. Highways. Not four lane. I want an exit. Two lane. 
a one way. One way highway. I want you to come out here and join up on the highway. Now I have more ways out of the city. Potentially, this helps with my S um my exporting problem. Nothing beats the OG. Is this the OG? I've only ever... When it comes to city building games, this is literally the only one I've ever watched or even known about. <laughs> Other than like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but that's not a city, you know? Oh my god, my traffic is just abysmal. My traffic is just abysmal. This traffic here is sad. This traffic here is horrifying. And I don't know how to change it. That's always been what cucks me. This guy's dying. Listen, if you're dying to the, the sickness that I am intentionally giving you by having you live next to a landfill, it's your fault. Your fault for letting me do that to you. Abandoned house. Oh, God. I have $100,000. You know what? Instead of fixing... Instead of fixing my traffic problem, what I'm going to do is right next to the most... Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Right next to the most densely trafficked area on the whole map. And right next to my poor people. I'm just going to place a big-ass fucking clock for no reason. It's not even a clock right now. I just placed a giant LCD screen of a QR code. I mean, nobody does it better, bro. You're asking for, for healthcare. You're asking for, keep in mind, I only have elementary schools. We don't even have a, a middle school up. We don't have a high school, let alone a university. And instead of building schools, I built a clock that isn't even a clock. It's a fucking QR code right now. Countdown clock. Countdown to what? I'm just the best mayor. I wonder what this QR code goes to. I'm actually going to look. Let me see. Pull my phone up. What's this go to? Paradox Interactive, huh? It's literally just a... Tr no way. All this goes to is a place you can buy City Skylines 2. They took the clock out. Wait. Wait. This clock was just counting down to City Skylines 2. And now that the game is out, I paid so much money to put a giant QR code right next to where my traffic is awful i am the best mayor that's ever fucking lived people are abandoning they're getting evicted i have an entire zone entire residency part of my city that lives on dirt roads i called it the poor popule they all die literally die because they their backyard is a landfill two water treatment plants two coal factories I'm fucking them in the ass with pollution. And what I instead do, instead of fixing any of these problems, I spend good taxpayer money that I pump to their taxes up to 30% to afford, by the way, to put down a countdown timer because my hopes, my goals were, if this is the most densely trafficked uh, place on the whole city, the traffic's worse here than anywhere else, why not I give you a clock so you can see how much time you're spending in traffic? But instead, it's just a fucking giant QR code that tells you to buy the next game. I'm the best mayor. I do it the best. <laughs> I do it the best. This is just America. <laughs> Not wrong, bro. You know what? Maybe I'll build a school. Yeah, you can have one high school. You know what, bro? I'll be nice. 
two high schools. Except the second one is right next to a landfill. Fuck you. A public library? Okay, I fuck with public libraries, just like IRL. So I'm going to go ahead and toss one up here. Why not? Why not? You want a high capacity elementary school? Sure. Sure, dude. I'll put it on an intersection. I'll put it on an intersection. Imagine sitting in math class and you just watch the most densely congested intersection you've ever seen. Dude, going from math class to English class, you would probably see like three car crashes happen. And then in English, you can just read a book about uh, how to survive a car crash. It's on topic. Probably get the kids engaged. You want workers. Well, hire them then, dude. Not enough educated workers. It's not my fault they're stupid. It is my fault they haven't had education opportunities, but it's not my fault they're stupid. That's on them. You're dying to the landfill. Then don't choose to buy land where your backyard is a landfill. No, fuck you. Hey, 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 hey. I'm a good mayor. There's no saying fuck you around here. Believe it or not, everybody in this city loves me. How do you think I've already gotten elected to like 34 more terms? And that's not even 34 terms I've served. That's 34 additional terms of being a mayor. All right. They really want residential, but I don't want to build roads right now. I'm just going to throw high density populated. Literally, I'm, I'm throwing up apartment scapes right now. I'm throwing up apartments right now. They aren't the greatest properties in the world. But you know what? You can live there. You got a gasm emote. My horny ass chat does not need emotes that have any version of gasm in them. Then again, my chat doesn't really use emotes much and it makes me sad. Because emotes are the best part about chat. But we're either lurking or talking about the most immaculate nut we've ever had. There's no in between. People that come to the BTK stream, they either lurk or they talk about their fifth nut of the day. I'm gonna need more power, huh? Gonna need more power, huh? Well, why don't I just throw down two more win three more windmills and call it a day, huh? I can express myself when I nut. <laughs> you already did, though. No, you already did, though. That's the thing. You're saying that like it's new. Like you've gained the ability to do that, but you already did that. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, dude. I can breathe air now. <laughs> and they're dying to the landfill. What happened to you? Oh, you burned it down. An entire factory burned down because the... The firefighters couldn't make it to them. Wow, I can't believe I spent in-game money on a countdown clock and it's actually just a QR code to go buy City Skylines 2. This is actually very aggravating. I thought it would be so funny to be stuck in traffic and just see this massive fucking clock. Wow, and they bother to animate citizens standing here staring at a QR code. Listen, I'll say it. It's a clever bit of in-game marketing, but I think it's stupid, though. Your house is burning down? I can't demolish a house on fire? That's crazy. Oh, this city's on the verge of dying, dude. This city is on the verge of dying, bro. Well, if we're on the verge of dying, I may as well give us another, another cemetery. Citizens are trying to buy their expansion. <laughs> no, you know what it is? They see how bad this city is. So the, the citizens think that uh, if they buy City Skylines 2, they'll be transported into a better city. Wow. 
And look at all the filth I've put in the water. Oh, it's gone far too. Wow. Wow. And you know what? I'm just going to dump more. I started this playthrough off saying I'm not going to dump water. Fuck it, bro. I hate these citizens anyway. You're dying to the landfill. Hey, that's your fault, chief. Dude, you know what? Let me get to 10,000 population and I'll call it good. This city has reached the stage that every city skyline city eventually reaches. And that's the stage where you just don't feel like doing anything more on it. You know what I mean? The lifespan of this city has ended. I'm getting annoyed primarily with this buyers for products problem. This problem's actually irritating me a lot. The pollution less so. Um, I could just build more shit, but... The city's on its last legs. It's on its last legs. Let me give you another pump. You can die with your water. Once we hit 10k, I'll call it a stream. Not as far as my nut shot. Okay, bro. Relax. You think you got a Hall of Fame distance off your nut? A Hall of Fame distance off your nut, dude. <laughs> <laughs> when you shoot ropes, you shoot them the furthest, huh? <laughs> hey, good for you, bro. <laughs> you know how annoying that would be? When you, if you shot a rope and it went like two miles away, imagine how filthy your fucking ceiling would be. Like you would have to figure out, like nutting would be so much more annoying. Cause when I nut, like where it ends up is usually not a big problem. You know what I mean? It's usually not something I have to worry about all that much. But if you had the world record distance nut shot, that'd be so aggravating. It'd be so annoying, bro. Just like this big rock is annoying. They built this highway around this rock because it's cool. Fuck you. I don't even have people living over here. I'm just going to just demolish that. To take away the work that the people before me did. Another abandoned building. Dude. If you're going to abandon the city, why even bother trying to live here in the first place? You know what I'm saying? If you were already going to abandon the city, why bother living here? Let's put some high-rise apartments over here. Densely populated commercial zones as well. Let's put some low density population right next to the high school. Right next to the landfill as well. Nice little four bedroom, one story house right next to a landfill. Great for a middle class family. If you get sick, I can charge you more for the... the Medical care, it's a great, honestly, a great opportunity. More for me than for the citizens. Make, give them polluted water to drink. Make your people suffer too much from sickness that they won't notice the city dying. You know what? Yeah. I'll send the city out in a glorious fashion. I'm going to start dumping their shit in the exact same spot that we pump the water. That we get the water they're drinking. I'm going to start dumping the shit there too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I want them to go out miserable. Fucking miserable. I want them to go out realizing that they chose one of the worst places a human being could choose to try and live. Yeah, your water's up. Shut up. Your water's up. You know what? We need to be pumping harder than this. This is amateur hour. This is amateur hour. All of these are shit water pipes. All of them. I'm pumping all the garbage I can right into your water. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's already affecting it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, trust me. As soon as I start to see people die, I'm raising all the taxes at 
The drinking water is a problem. Oh, hmm. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Uh, wow, the water's filthy already. Holy shit, the water's filthy already. I put more pumps there to speed it along, but wow. I did not think it'd get that filthy that fast. Remove the highway so they can't leave. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, sure. Hey, there's no leaving this city. There's no, eh, there's no leaving this city. They're happy the highway's gone. They're happy they're stuck here. You can't get out. You can't get out. 30%, 30%, 30%. Ah, how much money can I kill? I have 8,500 people left to kill. How much money can I extract from 8,500 people before they're dead? That's how we'll end the stream. I've got 8,500 people here. While they slowly die, I'm going to see how much money I can extract from them. From their graves. Oh, wow. They're dying quickly. Look at my population. They are dying fast. Oh, they're starting to leave. Oh, they're starting to leave. Wait, where's the medical facilities? Let's start taking these away. Fuck the cemetery. Building not empty. Okay, I can't get rid of the cemetery. Fuck the medical clinic. Fuck the medical clinic. Fuck the medical clinic. And the schools, too. Fuck the schools. I don't want you to be able to learn about the horrendous things I'm currently doing to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Maybe the greatest mayor of all time. <laughs> Maybe the greatest mayor of all time, bro. Look at this shit. <laughs> With the giant QR code to City Skylines 2. Just right here, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, go play, the, uh, go play the new game, bro. And everybody's abandoned. It's just such a great city. We live in a great place. I did a great job. I really did. <laughs> uh, only 3,500 people left. It's crazy that they're abandoning their homes because how are they leaving? You know what I mean? They are abandoning, but how are they leaving? Oh, now I'm losing money. All right. Well, that's officially the end. I made about $130,000 off of them. I exit scammed on my way out. And hey. Hey, in the next stream, it's going to be another city I'm going to run. <laughs> wow. Just wow. My city's dead. There's no lights on anymore. Everybody's gone. Everything's abandoned. A dead person is just in the public library. <laughs> These people need more workers and are getting robbed. That's the pollution on the water. Oh, there's not even any pollution because they're not eating anymore. Or I guess they're not drinking. Yeah, there's no one here to be shitting. There's no shit to dump in the water. Well, that's officially it. Uh, that was a cheeky little City Skylines run. I don't know how some of these people are getting happy. Like, what are you happy about? You're building a house here. There's no way you just moved in. Who the fuck moves in? The Crescent residence is full of sociopaths. Wow. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Great city. Great. 10 out of 10 city.